what's up guys Andrew here from Tom Goods Media and welcome back to the channel I've got a super simple fried chicken recipe that you should try now we're first going to start off by making a brine for our chicken I have here some bone-in chicken thighs which I've cut enough now what I would suggest is for you to get boneless chicken thighs or even use chicken breast this is all I have for now but I'm letting you know that this recipe would work better with boneless chicken moving on for the brine we can use the same brine recipe we made for the roast chicken but I think it would be too salty so I've adjusted the recipe as follows. In a pot, pour in 4 cups of water, 1 half cup of sugar, 1 half cup of salt, and just some onions and garlic, which I've cut to huge pieces. Now we have to make sure that the salt and sugar dissolve in the water, so make sure to stir constantly. Once everything is nice and mixed up, let it cool completely before adding your chicken pieces. Later in the video, I'll be cutting these thighs to even smaller pieces because once we fry them in the batter, they're almost gonna double in size. Okay, so refrigerate your chicken for at least 4 hours. To accompany the fried chicken, I thought of making a honey soy gar garlic? Or was it soy garlic honey? No, doesn't sound right. Garlic soy honey? And anyway, I'll be attempting to make the famous bonchon sauce. Now, I have nothing against bonchon, but I don't know about you, but I feel like their coating is good, nice and crispy. But then when it comes to the chicken itself, it's just bland. I don't know. But this is as close as we can get it to taste it like bonchon chicken. With an exception of the chicken being all bland because ours is brined, which I think they should try in doing as well. To get the sauce started, get some garlic, peel it, and chop it finely. Now we're gonna make it into a garlic paste, and how we're gonna do that is just by adding salt or sugar. And this will act as an abrasive agent for the molecules of the garlic to more or less break down so we can achieve a paste. Just run the edge of the knife again and again until we achieve a cohesive paste like consistency. Now I could have gone further with this, but I'm just gonna strain it later, anyways. We just did this so we can get the maximum flavor of the garlic. Now crush a small piece of ginger and add it to the pot. To the pot, add 1 cup of water, a half cup of soy sauce, and a half cup of honey. Bring this mixture to a simmer and reduce it until the sauce thickens up. Just make sure to stir it once in a while to make sure that the sauce doesn't burn. Once the sauce is nice and thick, grab a container and strain the mixture so that we don't get any of the garlic and the ginger in our chicken later. For the batter of the chicken, we're gonna need 160 grams of all-purpose flour, 4 grams of sugar, a dash of paprika, and 330 ml of sparkling water. The secret here is the sparkling water because it will give a batter a light and crispy coating as opposed to just a hard batter. We're also gonna need some flour to dredge our chicken before adding it to the batter. Now make sure that you have oil preheating before you do this because the batter doesn't stay bubbly for too long. We're just gonna dredge the chicken first in flour, then dip it into the batter and make sure to let excess batter drip out before we drop it gently to the oil. We just want to fry this until golden brown which will take about 8-10 to 10 minutes or depending how big your chicken is. If you're unsure if your chicken is thoroughly cooked, just pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes and you'll be good to go. Now bring it out and let the oil drip in a rack and continue to fry your chicken. Once you're done frying your chicken, plate it up and drizzle your sauce on top and have some fun with it. They actually kind of look like bonchon chicken-ish, well, anyway, let's taste it. So as you can see, the chicken was of course juicy and most importantly, well seasoned. Nothing bland about this chicken. The skin is nice and crispy, and it may look like it would be all heavy and greasy but really it's just nice and light and still really crispy. Now with the sauce, I think this recipe could give bonchon some tough competition. You should give this a try and make sure to let me know how it turned out. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Andrew from Tom Gets Media, signing off.